In our previous part of this video, we have discussed the general safety measures when working around the flight line, aircraft hangar and electrical components. We will find the link in the i button and also in the description. Now in this video, we will learn about fire safety measures and the different types of fire extinguishers. So if you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to it for more upcoming videos. Well, performing maintenance on aircraft and their components require the use of electrical tools which can produce sparks along with the heat producing tools and equipments, flammable and explosive liquids and gases. As a result, a high potential exists for fire to occur. Basically, three things are required for a fire. Fuel, heat and oxygen. The National Fire Protection Association has classified fires into basic three categories. Class A, B and Class C. Class A fire occur in ordinary combustible materials such as wood, paper, cloth, etc. Class B fires occur in flammable petroleum products or other flammable or combustible liquids, gases, solvents, paints, whereas Class C fire involves energized electrical wiring and equipment. Now, there also exists a fourth class of fire with which the technician should be familiar Class D fire. It is defined as the fire in flammable metals. This class of fire is not commercially considered by the National Fire Protection Association. Usually, class D fires involve metals such as magnesium in the shop or aircraft wheels and brakes or are the result of improper or poor conducted welding operations. Any one of these types of fire can occur during maintenance on or operations involving aircraft. So, there is a particular type of extinguisher which is most effective on each type of fire. Number 1. Water type extinguishers. They are the best type to use on class A fires. Usually, water has two effects on fire. It deprives the fire of oxygen and cools the material being burned. But remember, water type fire extinguishers are not recommended for class B fires and also never use them on class D fires. Number 2. Carbon Dioxide Extinguishers These extinguishers are used for class A, B and C fires. They extinguish the fire by depriving it of oxygen. But never use them on class D fires. And always remember to wear protective equipment or take other precautions to prevent cold injury such as frostbite from occurring. Number 3. Halogenated Hydrocarbon Extinguishers they are most effective on class B and C fires, although they can be used on class A and D fires, but they are less effective. Halogenated hydrocarbons, commonly called as freons, are numbered according to the chemical formulas with halon numbers. The very first halogenated hydrocarbon is halon 1211, which is bromochlorofluoromethane. These halons are numbered according to the chemical nomenclature which you all have studied in your 12th standards. Halon 1211 has a chemical formula of CbrClF2. It is a liquefied gas with a UL toxicity level of 5 and is colorless and non-corrosive. It acts as a heavy blanket over a fire that removes oxygen with an interesting feature of evaporating without leaving any residue. It also prevents fire from reflashing after being extinguished. The toxicity level of these halons is determined by underwriters laboratory where 1 denotes extremely toxic and 6 denotes least toxic. Next we have is halon 1001 methyl bromide. It is also a liquefied gas having its chemical formula as CH3Br but it is very toxic with a rating of 2 and is also corrosive on aluminium alloys, magnesium and zinc metals also. Therefore, it is not recommended for aircraft use. Next we have is Halon 1301 Bromotrifluoromethane having a chemical formula CF3Br. It is least toxic with a rating of 6. It is also a liquefied gas having all the characteristics of Halon 1211 except that of vapor spray tendency which makes it a little difficult to direct on fire. Next is Halon 104 and Halon 1011 carbon tetrachloride and bromochloromethane 
having chemical formulas as CCL4 and CH2ClBr. They are also very toxic with a rating of 3 and not recommended for use in aircraft as they release HCl vapors when used on ordinary fire. And lastly we have Halen 1202 dibromodifluoromethane with a chemical formula of CBr2F2 toxicity level of 4 which is also not recommended for aircraft use. Besides all of these types of fire extinguishers, there is also another type of fire extinguisher known as DCP which stands for dry chemical powder. They are effective on class B and C fires but are best for use on class D fires. Although DCP is also not recommended for aircraft use because the leftover is very difficult to clean and can damage the electronic equipments as well. So that would be all for now. I hope that you understood the general safety measures which we have discussed in two parts. So it's time where you subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this and do hit the like button if you find this video informative. Share it with your friends.